G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back to my short series on learning to play tribal. So, so far in this short series, you know, I ran through a very quick, you know, what do I need to play? We had a look at you know, the initiative and activation process. Um, we had a look at the process of recruiting a war band. Uh, those videos are available in the description below, links off to those videos. In this one, we're going to talk about how do I move around the battlefield. It's super simple. So you can see here on the table, uh, it, it, I'll point out that you know a normal gaming table will have a lot more scenery on it than what I've got here on this table. I've left it fairly open for the purposes of you know explaining you know the mechanics. So on the table here, I've got a couple of units. You know, a champion over here, my chief, a, a, a unit of warriors over here, and my deck of cards over to the side here that you can almost just see. Now the playing cards in this game are used to do everything. So on a normal card, you've got a short side and a long side. And these are used when we talk about movement. The short side represents a walk, the long side represents a run, and I can also sprint, which consists of two run moves. If I want to walk this unit forward, I simply place one card on the table, I grab one of the miniatures and I move it to the other side of the card. Let's get rid of the card. And then everybody else piles in around him. Now you may have noticed that some of those figures have moved more than you know that short length of the card. That's perfectly fine. It just represents you know maybe fitter, younger, healthier warriors able to run a bit faster than some of the other guys, etc. But the main thing to remember is I just move one of the guys and everyone else piles in around. I do need to make sure that this unit has coherency when it moves, and I do that by using the card and placing it on top of the miniature or on top of the group. And if everybody's base in that group is touching the card, then the unit is in coherency. It's as simple as that. If I want to run my chi forward, I simply use the long edge of the card, move him to the other side, and he's now ran along the board. If I wanted to sprint this guy, I'd make one run move, and then another run move. It is important for me to point out that this game uses straight movement. You can't bend the card to move around something. Um, you always use straight movement. It might sound like a bit of a problem, um, but because you know units will pile in around the guy that moved, it does allow you some flexibility in terms of moving around an obstacle. For example, if we you know grab this uh, rock structure here, let me just move some of these things out the way, and we've got this unit here, and we've got you know this rock structure here, and I want this unit to go around this rock structure. You know, I'd simply just activate this unit. Again, uh, um, they would have a card for that. I'd move this guy up here. Instead of bending my card and moving him around here, I'd move him to this side, and I'd just pile everybody else in around him, around the corner, check my coherency, and there we go. I'm slowly moving around that corner. That's the process of performing movement in Tribal. It's pretty simple. I can either walk, I can run, or I can sprint. There are a couple of caveats to movement, there are different types of terrain, there's three different types of terrain in the game, open ground, rough ground, and impassable, obviously impassable, you can't move through, open ground, free rain, do whatever you want, and um, rough ground, you can only walk through, so you can't sprint or run through either of those. Nothing else I can think of. Fairly straightforward. All right, as usual, any questions, queries, or comments, put them in the comments below, the description is full of links, uh, go and check them out, and uh, hopefully you will, uh, you know, pop up and watch the next video, which will probably have something to do with combat. How do I fight? Finally figured out how to move. Now we need to find out how we can fight. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.